How can you join a table that contains daily data with another table that contains weekly data? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So here we've got two tables. One, daily data, which contains the number of employees which have worked in a particular day, and you can see it in table form here, along with another table which has week commencing, in this case, Mondays, and you can see the data here. So what I want to do is be able to import the week description into a query based on this first table, and I want the total number of employees in this second table. So if you want to do this as a practice activity, then all of this is contained in the description to this video. Good luck. And please post your results in the comments to this video. Right, so let's see what we can do. First of all, we have to have some way of comparing these two dates. As I say, these are Mondays. So let's see how we can extract the weekday from the employee date. So if I go select star from daily data and I use the date part function and I get the weekday from the employee date. And if you've not seen the date part function before, then I have a video all about it and there should be a link on screen to that particular video. So let's see what we've got from here. And we can see that we have got the numbers one to seven repeating and they restart on a Monday. So given that my other data starts on a Monday as well, what I need to do is just work out how many days back from the current date I need to go. So from this Monday, I need to go back zero days. The Tuesday, I need to go back one day. The Wednesday, I need to go back two days. So I need to go back this number of days minus one. So here are the number of days that I need to go back. So how do I subtract the number of days that I need to go back from an existing date in SQL Server? And the answer is, I've literally answered my own question. All I need to do is subtract it. So now if I run this, you can see that we have got the incorrect answer because we were looking for Mondays, which would be the 4th of February, and this is a Saturday. And the reason for that, I need to have this in brackets because it is subtracting one from the employee date, whereas I want it to subtract one from this function. So let's have both of these queries running, and you can see that we now have the relevant date. We now have the Monday date here. They are the same. So now all we need to do is compare these two queries. And we can do that fairly easily. We have a join. I'm going to use a left join to make sure we have all of the daily data. I'm going to call it W. And I'm going to say on W dot week commencing, that needs to equal this. So with a join, we don't need to have a join between two existing columns or fields. We can have it based on the result of a function. So now if I comment out that, so I'm still displaying all of the original columns. We can now see that we have got the employee date, the week commencing and the description from the week commencing. So this is how I can bring weekly data into my daily data. Now, what if I wanted the summarized version of the week commencing? Well, that's no problem as well. You just select what fields you need. So I need the week commencing, the week description, and the sum of the employee count. I don't need the employee date. So that's what I'm going to start writing. So the week commencing, the week description, and the employee count, and I need it to be the sum. So I'm going to call this total employee count, except we need this to be just one word. Now I'm using an aggregation here. I'm using the sum function. So what do we need to do when we are creating an aggregation? We need to have anything that is not aggregated in a group by clause. And I usually have those in an order by as well. 
so I probably don't need weak description in the order by, but I'm going to keep it anyway. So let's see what we've got. So now we have got the three week commencings and descriptions and the total employee count. Now you might be saying this is great, but how can I create my weekly date table? Well, I've got another video on how you can create a date table in SQL Server, so you don't actually have to manually create my weekly data date table. You can have it created automatically. And if you've then got a question, well, can we have the date part result as being another day than a Monday? Yes, you can. Again, I've got a video on how we can have different week commencings. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and would like to learn more about SQL, then please join me in my SQL course. So if you go to our website, idodata.com and go to SQL, here we can see my best-selling querying Microsoft SQL Server with TSQL, basically how to create select statements course. So in around 28 or so hours, you will install SQL Server on your own computer, learn about the six principal clauses of the select statement, go on to have a look at constraints, view, triggers, unions, error handling, and much, much more. And if you're thinking a 29 hour course or so is a bit too long and you would like the basics in a shorter course, then please have a look at my database fundamentals course. Perfect if you've got around a day or a day and a half. And there are plenty of other courses on our website. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the same sort of problem, but what if you don't want it to be week commencings? What if you want it to be in particular periods? and there is no fixed interval between the periods. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then why not like it? If you have another solution, then why not comment in the video? Or if you'd like a video created on a different topic, why not let me know? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.